Hello. Today we're going to try to play scythe. Uh, I've already gotten the board and everything set up as you can see. I've got my factions randomly se selected and the two factory factories, the two factions that we're going to be using is the red Rusfiat faction over in the corner and then the uh, black Saxony Empire down over here. Uh, we've already drawn the cards and everything uh, so I have the objective cards so this is the objective cards for uh, the Rust Viets. And these are the objectives for the Saxony. And looking at the cards, a couple of them aren't, aren't too going to be too hard to complete. So as I go through it, uh, the first thing is going to be that this is the uh, larger board. This is the extended board. You can see the line for the other part. So it's kind of big and I probably shouldn't be using it, but I'm going to show it nonetheless. But because of that, it's going to be kind of difficult for me to fan the, uh, or span the table, so I apologize for that. But like I said, we'll see what we can do. Uh, so to start... going to have it to where, um, let's see here, their board's a five, and I believe uh, the Rus Viet Empire's board is a three. So I believe it's the lower number that starts first, or higher, I can't remember. It's a lower number. So, red will go first for this round. So, I'm going to show you with this one. I'm not going to go too much over the rules. I'm just going to kind of play. Um, and I have to get uh, the $6 for red. I haven't gotten their money together. But basically, you're going to have your little pawn here. And in the beginning, uh, for my board, there's four different spaces that you can go to that are kind of going to dictate what you can do. So you can move, like on this board, you can move or you can gain money, you can uh, upgrade down the bottom, um, I can pay a dollar to trade, um, I can deploy a mech after paying uh, a bunch of metal. Um, for this one, I can uh, produce on two hexes, um, but I can also uh, build structures um, by paying wood and then getting money. For this one, I can pay to bolster my, uh, my combat strength or I can get another combat card, or I can also pay food to enlist, which basically is going to move this on the board and give me some, uh, some benefits. So that's kind of um, what you do. When you place your buildings, uh, you're going to just place them anywhere on the board where, they, where you have a worker, and they do kind of different benefits and stuff. Uh, now, one of the things is our endgame goal is, is to have all of our buildings built adjacent to one another on, on territories. So that's something that we're going to be looking at doing. So, to get started, keep their cards where I can see them. So I need to try to start moving out, but the only problem is is that there's rivers that are kind of uh, going around everybody's starting area. And so you have to start building up and start getting special abilities to try to make it cross that river. So one of the first things I'm going to be doing is um, trying to build a mech or trying to build uh, my mine so that I can get out over into these areas over here. So for Rusviet to build a mech it's going to cost four metal and to build a building it's going to cost four wood and I don't really have any wood over here for my starting areas. But I've got metal, I've got oil, and I've got a village to create more workers. So I think I'm going to start focusing on getting workers and uh, start building up my metal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to produce. So I'm going to go over there. And because this is a village, I'm going to produce one worker here. 
and I'm going to get one metal there. Now, when you're doing stuff, there's a top action, there's a bottom action, but I don't have three food, so I can't do the bottom action, so that's basically all I'm going to be able to do. So now for black, black's basically going to be working on the same thing, um, except for except for the fact that uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit quicker. So for black's first action, I think I'm going to move. And I'm going to move this guy over here. And I'm going to move my the character out over there. So now red is going to continue. So I pr produced the first time, so I can't produce again. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to trade. So I have to pay a coin. And then I can get uh, two resources, which could be the same, could be different, or I could also go up on the popularity track. But for right now, I'm trying to get uh, get metal, so I'm going to produce two metal. And I can produce it anywhere that I have workers, but might as well just keep it at the mountain. And I don't have the four wood, so there's not much more I can do. So now... To go back back to Saxony. Saxony, I think, is going to produce this time. And now, because there's two workers there, both of them will be able to produce and create two metal. Back over to red. So red, let's see, red's got three. I need one more. I think I'm going to move. So I can move two units, one space. Move one here. And I'm going to move my character out there. And now for black. Saxony is going to pay their coin and trade. I'm going to take two metal. Now for red. For Rusviet, I think I will produce again. Now I'm producing on two tiles and so I think I'm going to produce some oil on this tile and then one more metal in the mountains there. Now for black, black is going to be able to deploy mech on this turn so actually I'm not going to be able to because my trade and my uh, mech deployment are on the same space. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So I think I'm going to move. Come over here to move. I can either get a dollar or I can move two characters one space. So I think I'm going to move this guy here. I'll move my character here. And now this is an encounter uh, location. So now that the uh, movement and everything is done, we don't have any combat or anything like that that we need to worry about. But what's going to happen is we're going to remove our token, our counter token from the board, and we're going to draw one of these cards right here. And you can pick one of the actions from this card to do. Um, there's actually one of the factions that allows you to be able to pick two of them. So. The things that I'm going to be able to do is I can clear up rooted trees after the battle's over to gain two wood and one popularity. I can throw down my bags and rush into battle to pay two dollars to gain three popularity. Um, I can study the battlefield from afar, plotting my opponent's demise, and pay two popularity to collect any any one opponent's combat cards and draw three combat cards. 
which that's not going to help me too much. I mean, for black, I mean, my popularity is at a four, so I could come down, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. So I think at this point, I'm going to gain two wood and I'm going to gain one popularity. So my popularity is going to go up. I'll move this closer just so you can see the card. So my popularity goes up and then I take two wood. And now the wood will go where the encounter took place. And then this is discarded. So that's how the encounters occur. All right, so now for red, red is going to be able to build their mech this turn. So I'm going to come over here to the, the bolster area and I will pay a coin. And so by doing that, I can bolster my combat strength too. I'm already in kind of five, but I can move up to five. And then my bottom action is my actual, my actual deploying. Ah, deploying. So I'll pay my four wood. And then I will take one of the mechs. And for right now, I need the river walk ability, which... For us yet, my river walk ability makes it to where I can move across rivers to farms and villages. So I can move across rivers to villages and farms. So I'm going to deploy my mech anywhere that I have a worker. So I will deploy it right there. And that's it for my bottom action. A lot of times that you'll say, uh, I won't say a lot of times, you were supposed to, when you do a bottom action, you're supposed to tell everybody because there are certain bonuses that could happen later on. But now he's got a mech out, um, and Saxony is going to be able to do the same thing. So they're going to move over there. They also have to pay a coin. Um, I could, I mean, I don't have to do the top part if I don't want to. Um, but it is kind of good to get both benefits if you can. But like I said, sometimes you, you want to, sometimes you don't. And I think for this one, um, I can trade to get two resources. And I think I'm going to take two wood. I'll put them there. So now for my bottom action, I'm deploying a mech. So I... Pay the four. And for me, I think for right now, I'm actually going to take, uh, for Saxon, I'm going to take under um, underpass ability. So I get to move between any mountains you control and any tunnel. So I will him there since that's a mountain so basically mountains are adjacent to any of these now and then once I have my tunnel built it'll be the same way so now he's can move a far distance uh, with that mech next turn so now for red I think red is going to move so I can move two units So I'm going to take my mech and I'm going to use my, my ability, my river walk ability. Now mechs can take resources and they can take workers with them when they move. So I'm going to pick these guys up. I'm going to take them with me over to this village. And then that was moving my one space with my mech. Um, my character also has the river walk ability. Both mechs and characters have that. Um, so with that I can move over into farms. So I'm going to move my character. My character can take resources, but they can't take workers. So I'm going to move my character over here so that I will be able to get an encounter. So the movement's over. So we'll take the encounter token. All right, so for this encounter, 
I can whistle while you wait for the geese to cross the road to gain two dollars in one popularity. I can pay the girl for a pet geese, or as you call them, dinner. So I can pay two dollars to gain four food. Um, I can feed the geese to my animal and claim the farm as my own, but pay two popularity to build one structure. Hmm. So I think for this one, and I do need popularity. I can get two bucks and gain one popularity. So I think I think I will do that top one. So let's see, I'm getting two dollars and one popularity. Okay, so now black going to do? Probably move. I take a worker. I try to get another worker out though too. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to produce for right now. No, no, no. Yeah, I am going to produce. So I'm going to take my thing, move it here. I can produce on two locations. So I think I will produce on both my locations. So this gives me another worker. Since I'm on a village, and then on that one I get a metal. Now my bottom action is build. So I can pay four wood, which I have. And then that allows me to build something plus get two dollars. So I'll get my two dollars and I get to build something. And I think I'm going to build my windmill. Because so my windmill acts as a person and being able to produce. That's what I will do. Okay. So now for red. I'm going to pay a dollar to trade. Take two wood. And I can't do the bottom action, so red is done. And black. It's going to move, I think. Let's see here, am I going to be able to move? Yeah. So I can move two units. And actually, I'm going to take my worker, my mech, and move over here with my special ability, my underpass special ability. And then I'm going to have one of these guys move here. And I don't have the two oil in order to be able to upgrade. So now back to red. I'm going to remove. No. Then I'm going to produce. I'm going to get another villager. And another metal. And with getting this other worker out, now every time I produce, it's going to cost me a power. So I'm going to have to keep my power up in order to be able to produce from now on. And I don't have the three foods, so I'm not going to be able to do my bottom action. So that's it for red.
for black, I think I want to... produce as well. So I'm going to produce produce here because that gives me two metal, my worker and my um, my mill. And I'm going to produce here for my second one to get an oil. And I need to start getting my combat strength up a little bit. I don't have the four wood anymore, so I'm not going to be able to build anything else, which is that bottom action. So now red. I'm going to pay. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to pay a coin to be able to bolster my combat strength. Now the seven, how it has the circle around it, means that uh, anytime I'm doing combat or anything like that, um, that's the most power I could ever spend is seven at any given time. And we'll be getting into combat a little bit later so I can show you how it works. Um, but the bottom one for this is my four metal depl deployed mech and I don't have the metal. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it on uh, right now for this, and then uh, we'll continue into part two.